What is going on guys? Jedi Nerd here. I am here with my lovely wife Ashley. Hello. And I'm going to make a review of this Zerka Corp EcoPixel, technically NeoPixel lightsaber. There's a few reviews online, not a lot. So I want to make a clear, concise, in-depth review as to why I support this company and I think they're awesome. And I'm giving my reasons as to why. So this is the hilt. I'm going to post it up above here on the screen, uh, which one this is so I don't mislead you but um this is the hilt i got i will say is for the fit and the finish of this hilt it is gorgeous really nice. it is really nice i mean for this was 109 dollars out the door look at this and there are a few little scuffs on it but that's because my kids like to throw it up against the walls but i mean but it holds its own for sure it really does i'll show you this side a little bit just so you can get some really clear shots of this of course this piece comes off so you can attach another blade to it you have the double threading there you got your speaker inside there show you down inside down in the barrel here you got your pins and what surprised the heck out of me let's see if we can turn this on all right now of course this does have Twist to activate. What surprised me is that there are actual LEDs inside of there. So, you know, you could put a blade plug in there if you weren't rocking the um, the EcoPix or the NeoPixel blade. You could still get you can still get some light in there as well as the pins on top of that. Um, to change the color, I think you hold it down, turn. Yeah, you get some different colors. Now, as far as the speaker on this thing. This the actually let me let me let me give that's the, the only the only negative is the speaker. I will say that the uh, smooth swing is really good. Look at that. The smallest turns. You wanna try, honey? Sure. Yeah, Ash is gonna come down here and try it. Swing around a little bit. Show them that smooth swing because that's that's important. That's what a lot of people wanna. They wanna see how accurate it is. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's it's really good. Now it twist. Hold on. I was still getting the hang of it. So that smooth swing is really good. Actually, it's better than my five hundred dollar Crimson Dawn um, replica, Luke version two replica. It's actually more on point than that one. The speaker is not, and that's what I was going to get to next. The speaker isn't as good. I'm sure you can put an aftermarket speaker in this chassis um, easily. But the speaker, and, and it actually sounds way better with this this pommel piece off. And when you put the pommel piece on, I'll show you what it sounds like. It's still, it's not bad. I'd give it a 6 out of 10 with that on there. But here, let's change the sound font. And that's four blinks with it off to change the sound font. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do another part of this video later once it gets dark to show all the fonts and stuff. So you can push the button, obviously. I think it's more fun to twist. Now let me take this off, and you can hear the difference. See that? Way clear, way louder. And you could rock it like this. That's lock up. One blink. All right. That's enough of that. But there's the uh, there's the LEDs down in there, and the pins. I, I love that, dude. I did not know it had that. Though. Sorry. There we go. Still getting used to that. Okay, let me go over the blade real quick. All in all, this hilt is amazing. Love you, honey. <laughs> okay, she's going to take care of the kids. All in all, this hilt is just phenomenal. It's beautiful. That's why I wanted to film it outside. So you could just see the, uh, the craftsmanship of it. And it's got weight. I mean, it's got it's weight. It's, it's not heavy, but it's definitely not light. So we got two uh, two blade retention screws there. I mean, and I'm assuming I'm assuming all their hilts are going to have this quality behind them. All right, blade, NeoPixel blade or EcoPixel blade. 
So, obviously, just like most, you have your you have your pins here. Let's get up close. So I want to make a really clear video. So that was a little loose earlier, but you just if it gets loose, you can just tighten. Because obviously, that can on that can twist off. Um, let me show you the let me show you the insides here. The pointed tip. That's really threaded good. That's actually a great thing. You can see your LEDs in here. Look at that. Double sided LEDs. I thought it was just gonna have one, but it's actually double sided. Then you get your foam in there. I mean this is a legit NeoPixel blade. Legit. Let's have some fun. Let's um I still gotta get that twist thing down. Oh well. Alright, so let's plug this in. And I just want to show you the LEDs. Honey, put your hand behind that so we can get some good focus in here. Oops. Once you see the LEDs during during the day. So you see they are in there, they do work. Because, you know, there's not a lot of reviews that break down the EcoPixel blade. I wanted you to see what those LEDs look down in there. So, all right. Like I said. Oh, yeah, and it comes with a nice little card. This isn't an unboxing. This is an in-depth review. Love their slogan, live to serve. If you're forgetful, it has a little key. Is this the one for the other one, though? This is the RGB but one, did. right? It still seems like it works. Okay, this, is, this one came with the RGB, so you can take a look at that one, screenshot or whatever. Yeah. And I will post the one that came with the NeoPixel right here, right now. So you can take a screenshot of that one if you do, because um, it's also on their website as well. So... So that is the blade. Honey, is there anything I'm missing? That's pretty in-depth of the blade itself and the the hilt. Oh, well, you can try to talk about the best way to charge it. That's important. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take this apart. I'm glad I got you here. <laughs> so we'll take this. We'll, we'll pull this. Uh, we'll pull this chassis apart here. It's not good threading on it. It's not going to just come off. All right, so here's your core, and I actually am replacing a core on the RGB saber that we got from them. Um, it did have a bad button, but the core is super easy to replace. You just unscrew this, and then you would just push this button in, and all right, and this whole core would just come out. It's not there's like everything's in one. I'm assuming I, I'm, I'm assuming that actually I don't even know if this one if the pins are included in the core of this. Um, that was just with RGB. So anyways, here's how you charge it. You do have to unscrew it to charge it. Um, unfortunately, it's not that bad. Um, with my Luke uh, Crimson Dawn one, you had to take off that handle, that metal piece, and pull that out. With this one, you just unscrew it. Charge it up. So if you wanted to get to this battery, you'd have to unscrew this and pull this core out. So not that bad, honestly. Um, yeah, it, it feels like it has quality. It feels durable. I mean, this feels, it's, it's so hard to convey these things, but this feels, I mean, this feels strong. Like I could hold it by the, by the chassis and give it a couple smacks and feel like this isn't going to just break. These little plastic walls right here don't feel flimsy. I mean, for $109? You want to see the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the RGB. This is the RGB from them. And they're sending a... Uh, even the RGB, I mean, this... Pretty nice core. I have to say that... What's the name of this one? I don't know. I threw it up oh. on the screen because I couldn't remember the name well, of it. The, I think it's oh, Badger. This one feels a lot better in your hand and this one my opinion it does it's nice weird weight. because and, yeah. in pictures they look about the same honestly even in real life they look about the same but for some reason this has more heft heft to it mm -hmm. put this is more back. comfortable it feels more sturdy i'm gonna bring this down here a little bit it's longer look no i don't know what it is yeah. but because i wasn't very impressed with the feeling of this one it felt a little bit cheap not cheap cheap 
this definitely feels good. This, I think it's, the, you think it's the weight? Yeah. It's, it's I think it's the weight of it. it. This one has more weight. And uh, I overall, I'm very impressed with the build quality. Look at that. I'm very impressed with the build quality. There we go. Change the colors here. You can do two blinks to change the color. Yellow. Red. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to cut to the next part of the video where I go over some of the the effects and the blade styles, the ignition styles and whatnot. But I just wanted to show off the hilt, and it's built very well. I mean, yeah, I want to show that off in the light and give that some good recognition so you can kind of just get the get the grasp of how how well these things are made. It doesn't feel like some cheap company, even though they're pretty affordable. So, All right, catch you all in a minute. Bye. What is going on guys we're in the house it's gotten dark we're gonna go through some of these blade styles and through some of these ignition styles and just play around with it and see what the saber can do like i said you're not going to get all the features of a saber trio of a full profi full cfx you're not going to get all that but it does give you quite a bit of different things combinations that you can do and you can change everything through the amount of clicks so um one flash when it's off changes the volume from off to high to low uh, two flashes while it's off. Hey, I'll show you here. Two flashes while it's off will change the ignition styles. One, two. So, and the things that doesn't it doesn't say what they are, but it does tell you. Do three three flashes tells you your uh, your actual blade styles. So we'll do one, two, three. Wave. Wave. All right. So let's see what wave does with whatever ignition it chose. It's pretty dope. That was dope. So that ignition like came from both ends, and that's pretty cool. And you can actually change these colors here. Two blinks. You get, you get different colors of these styles by holding it for two blinks. And I'm just going through the colors. That's pretty cool. Almost like candy blade. Or you can hold it up like this, or point the tip down, hold the blade and twist it. Let's see if I can do it here. There we go. So, twist to turn it off. All right. Let's do a new blade style and a new ignition. All right, so that's a new ignition. Yeah. <laughs> ignition style. One, two, three. All right, so we got a brand new ignition style. It doesn't name them with rainbow blade. So freaking dope, dude. So freaking dope. Now that's washed out. Let me see if I can turn this exposure down. All right, so I'm seeing what you're seeing in the reflection at the bottom here. That's what I'm seeing. The top is all blown out. So, yeah, that's kind of weird that's doing that. It's pretty weird. Rainbow blade. Don't care for that font, but uh, I can change that. All right. Do a different ignition, two taps, three taps for uh, three blinks. Three blinks, yeah. All right, so we got a new ignition style and a new blade style. Actually, let's change the font too, the sound font. That's four blinks. One, two, three, four. So that's pretty sweet. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, and the, the cool thing about this, you kind of can mix and match right there on the blade. Um, some you can't even do that, but this one you can mix and match your ignition styles. Let's see what we got. That's dope. That was dope. I don't even know what sound font this is. Move my TV out of the way. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Next up. 
All right, we got a new ignition. Like I said, I can't tell you what they are because, yeah. One, two, three blinks. Stable. Stable. Yeah, that's that. That's that saber loading. Hold on, my saber's loading ignition. Good old Darth Maul. Let's see what we got. There we go. All right, so that particular ignition goes from the top down. Let's leave that, but let's change the ignition. All right, see what we got. There we go. Good old fashioned from the base up. All right, let's just keep it on this, this particular theme and font and just play with these ignitions here. All right. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. So cool, dude. So cool. Dude. Dude, I so wish it would announce those ignitions. sure we did them all. Yeah, back to the loading one. There we go. All right, we're going to stick to this one right now, the, the traditional, and go through some of these themes, and then go through some of the fonts real quick, and then we'll uh, finish up. All right, so that was all the um, ignition. All right, we did ghost. I don't know if we did Ghost or not. Was that in the other video? I know I started over. Like, either way. I hear his good old Ghost Blade. Lights up when you swing it. just about playing with it man that's the cool thing about this saber you get you know seven or eight ignitions seven or eight fonts maybe 10 or 12 fonts and then you know seven or eight um actual blade styles and you mix and match them to your liking <laughs> yeah go pops oh yeah man. the hum is great the hum is great and some of the blasters, but the the actual swing isn't. Eh, it's kind of garbled. But uh, I mean, dude, it's still. I'm having fun, man. I'm having a lot of fun right now. Let's see what else we got. One, two, three, four. I feel like we did this one already. No, you know this one almost sounded like F1 Racer. But I don't think it is. No, it's definitely not. But it had some like pod racer sounds to it. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. That was sick. Tell me, is this training? My training? No. Got a counter. Gotta count your blinks, make sure you count your blinks, because it's, it, it's gonna piss you off. Oh, here's the one I thought was F1 Racer. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't think it's F1 Racer, but it sounds so similar. Pretty sweet, though. You guys know exactly what you're getting. I don't know what font that is. Dude, that is dope. One, two, three, four. Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. I'm assuming this is going to be uh, blue. Let's change that uh, ignition here. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, baby. Can't be Anakin without the blue, baby. Give me some blue. There we go. Flash on flash. Pretty up. Uh, you gotta hit it hard. I'm hitting that thing hard, dude. I mean, this thing is is very solid. It's this 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 lightsaber is absolutely. Durable as hell. All right, let's see what we got. Should we begin our way? I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Me too. There we go. Little Kylo. Gotta have the red blade for this one. Gotta have the red blade for this one. Now see, then you have to go and you have to change the the blade style to the fire. That's the thing. It's it's pretty customizable, but it also means you have to go through one. You know, you want that particular blade style with that particular ignition style and that particular font. You got to set it up. So, but I think that's kind of fun, you know. That you get, you know, you get those kind of options because you're not plugging this into a computer, you know, you're not doing the code. I, I dabbled a tiny bit into the code and it was, it was, oh, it was something. General Kenobi. General Kenobi. I'm sorry, guys. I should have left it on the, the regular blade. But anyways. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up, man. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Zerka Corp lightsaber. Boom. That wraps it up for me. That's all I got, y'all. Hope you like this review, guys. I appreciate it. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. I hope it was comprehensive and uh, showed you what all these Zerka Corp lightsabers can do. I highly recommend. They're a lot of fun. And um, you can't beat it, dude. 109 bucks. Pretty customizable. Definitely, you know, it's, it's EcoPixel. I mean, it's NeoPixel, for sure. So, I mean, 109 bucks, dude. <laughs> y'all take care. Catch y'all later. Peace.